And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. After two lackluster, although classic reviews as I would like to call them. You have made your voices heard and you are demanding, well those of you who saw the original video therefore, are demanding that I review this cool cat. This, alright enough of the 60 puns, it's Black Cat. That's right, from the Spider-Man Marvel Legends Infinite series, Build-A-Figure Collection, Green Goblin series, it is the Black Cat. Felicia Hardy as the Black Cat. What more can I say? She was an immediate fan favorite from her very first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man 194. Which I have, by the way. Hee <laughs> The box itself is very nice, it really does stand out on the pegs, and it's very uncharacteristic for Spider-Man to have anything other than a really bright, colory box. This is very standard, it's black, it's bright red, it's silver in places, I mean, this will not stand out to a kid. This, this is definitely a collector-appropriate box. Kids are more used to colors, they like seeing this on the shelves. They like, they don't really like seeing this. This really won't capture their attention. But for what it is, it's still a very nice design box. It's got the current Spider-Man brand logo. A really cool Spider-Man, you know, chest insignia in red on top. Some really cool, amazing Spider-Man poses. And then on the back, since this is a Skyline Sirens series, she will eventually have someone sharing her box, and that is none other than Spider-Girl. It's enough about the box. Let's take her out, and we'll take a closer look at Felicia Hardy. Taking a look at the black cat outside of her packaging, she is even more gorgeous outside the packaging. This is a gorgeous figure. And that may be wrong to say, this considering that she's a hunk of plastic and everything, but oh, is she not any different than the actual Felicia Hardy and how much of a whore she can be? Really, folks, really. Okay, getting on to the review. This is a gorgeous figure. I really do appreciate the work that Hasbro put into this. For those of you who said Hasbro is putting out nothing but crap these days, clearly they're thinking more of the 3.75 inch figure lines from the Avengers, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, the Star Wars lines, etc, etc, etc. But really, when it comes to 6 inch, they can still get it done. Now if they could just work on their distribution problems, they could be killing it in the collector action figure market. But just look at this girl. She is drop-dead gorgeous. I love her face sculpt. It's very traditional. It's, it's just very much like a driver's, you know, license photo, DMV photo. Um, but it's still sexy. She still carries a very, very sexy. She, she, she bringing sexy back. Let me just say that. Okay, for those of you, yeah, I know I'm acting a little out of character, but that's what this freaking figure does to me. It's just so gorgeous. I really do love the paintwork. Look, look at the paintwork at this. Look at how they were able to just mix in just frost, just light blue into the hair, just to frost it, just to make it that much more, more appealing. Her platinum hair has never looked this good on any figure, ever. They even did the same treatment to the fluff on the cuffs of her boots, of her forearms, and of course on the, uh, the insulation of her jump suit. Okay, I don't know, enough of that. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Not going there. Mm, no, mm, mm, no, no, no. Okay. Her articulation is as follows. She does have very, very tight shoulder joints. No, not going there. Not going there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. She has the swivel elbows, swivel wrists, and the elbows do bend as well. 
She does have a really cool rocker joint on her ab crunch, which I think is a lot better. It does inhibit some posing, but I really do feel it's a little better than the current ab rocker joints. Uh, you know, the ab crunch joints. Um, her hips, the stances could be a little wider. They need to do something about that. When you want a black cat figure, you want her to do splits. Mm -mm, no, no, not, not, that, not because of that. No, get that out of your freaking head. She does have the cut thighs. And she does have double jointed knees. And she does have, oh, she does swivel ankles as well as rotating ankles. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's 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 pretty cool. All right. Um, I would say that she does have head articulation, but unfortunately, the more you move the head, the more it tends to pop off. So, mm, kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? The paint is just done wonderfully well. I can't find any slop anywhere, which is rare for a figure like this. Very, very rare. Now, once again, she does have a little junk in the trunk area, and she does have a little bit of a, uh, let's just say, it, it looks like this costume is painted on her butt. But really, if it wasn't Black Cat, I probably would have had a problem with it. But it is Black Cat, and Black Cat's a whore, so <laughs> I kind of expect it. Her costume is very much like the 1970s look into the 1980s before she changed it for that punk rockery and that 90s uh, shoulderless look. Um, and really, the only thing I have to say is pretty bad in addition to the sculpt, besides, you know, the obvious, uh, 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 and the, mm -hmm. no, is the, uh, the heels, why they gave her heels. She doesn't wear heels, and if she does wear heels, she shouldn't wear heels, and she never wore the heels when in this costume, so they need to get rid of the heels. But other than that, once again, gorgeous figure. She does have a little, you know, bull whip slash, you know, grappling claw accessory, kind of similar to Catwoman. And, uh, well, that's, you know, pretty much it. She is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous figure, and she needs to be purchased by every Spider-Man fan, by anybody watching this channel, she needs to be purchased. Hasbro Toy Shop sold out in record time when they put this figure up for sale eBay auctions are going through the roof. I mean, $60, $70, $80 per one figure. And that's just an auction bids. So if you find this on a store shelf, pick her up. You will not be disappointed. And i got to end this video because I'm starting to sound a little weird. So unless you don't want to sound weird by the time you get this figure, then pick her up. This is Trans8010, and I am signing off. Okay, back to normal.